Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a bit more about Blur. It's just an important subject and it's it's worth understanding the detail of what happens. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go down to the rectangle tool here and I'll draw a rectangle. And let's fill it with black. So what we get here is a perfect edge goes from white to black. That's the maximum contrast. And what eyes do is eyes look for contrast in the picture. Because it's only when you can see the edge that you said then start to look for where it goes. Your eyes follow the edge and you can see the thing in itself. However, even though this is a kind of a forced shape, if I rotate it a bit and we now zoom into the edge of it, look, you can see is the jagged edge there because that's pixels. Not only that, but look at the colour change. It's not just black to white. And this is deliberately done here to make it look a little bit smoother. So that little blur effectively is used in smoothing. So let's just go back to where we were. And we can do an artificial blur on this. And the way we do that, we're going to go down to pixel level. And up here, where it's got the paintbrush tool, if you right click that, there's a thing down there which is a pixel tool. And what the pixel tool is, lets you draw one pixel at a time. And the way that it works is, is there's a, it's like there's a bleed going across from one colour to the other. So I can draw a line down here. Let's get it a bit bigger. I'm going to draw a line down here and I'm going to make it a colour up here between black and white. I'm going to make it a little bit, it goes from black to white here, so I'm going to make a fairly dark there. So I'm going to hit click on there, then shift click down the bottom and it'll draw a line. And this has gone from black, fade a little bit there. Now I'm going to take this down to just off the white there. So I'm going to click at the top there and shift click there and it draws another line. And what you've got here is effectively is the beginnings of a blur. I could add to that blur, spread it out more by taking another point, say further up here. And now to do this I need to Shift click there and make this one the darker one in because what you get is the reducing gradient there. And so here I need one further up there for this. Let's bring that up a bit more. And shift click and then we'll turn one a little bit further down. And so on. And what you get is effectively is like a blur across here. That's what a blur is. It's changing colour. So the as the blur moves across there, the more the blur, this is a key point about it, the more the blur, the slower the change in the colour across that uh, gradient there. So if I control rule the mouse to zoom out, it eventually begins to look like a little bit of blurred area. We can force a blur onto the, the larger thing itself. So uh, let's just take that out there, go back to the pixel. And if I put a gradient on this, I can, because this is a shape, I can use a live filter here. So Gaussian blur. I'm going to go into the edge here. So let's zoom right in. Here we go. So now this is no blur, but as I change the blur, notice I go up a little bit. See, it goes up in 0 0.1. What's 0 0.1? But that's what it is. It's moving that, it's changing the, in fact, with the gradient, but changing the color from black to just off black. I go up a little bit more, and it's got another increasing gradient across there. And the more you go up, the more that goes until you get a complete blur. In fact, if I go and control zero right here and I 
put on more and more and more. You can see things disappearing. Yeah, and if I put that 100 there, I can type on top of that, 500, say. And there, the, the shape's disappeared. It's because it's pushed it all the way out. It's go back a little bit, say 200. There you go, see it's there. The shape is there, but it's been blurred so much. And this is what blurring can also do. It can make things disappear, which is the way you, you get rid of noise. Anyway, there you go. It's a little bit more about the tech, you know, the, what's actually happening at the pixel level about blurs. And it's worth keeping that in mind as we go along. Thank you very much for watching.